What's up basketball fans? Welcome back to Trash Talk. Back with me, Rocky Padilla, and today I'm with the MVP, import MVP of the IBL. To me, still the MVP, uh, David Seager. How you doing, David? Up, how are you? Good. How you doing, man? Hello. So, David, uh, let's talk about your stats this season. You like a whole new, pl different player this season. Uh, almost every a triple double, and then you have any different? Did you have a different approach approaching this season? Uh, not really a different approach. I worked harder this summer. I put a lot of more more work into it this summer. Uh, this year, I knew like I knew I had to be confident in my me and myself and be aggressive and try to help my team. So I tried to do whatever it was to help us win. And if it meant rebound, if it meant defend, whatever it took, I was trying to just do whatever it took to help us win. You know. So the local players of the Pacific team really Im improved in my eyes. And uh, do you have, did you work with them like before the season, like to help their confidence or something? Uh, I would try to talk to them every day, mm -hmm. tell them every day like, yo, you're good enough, we're good enough, you know? So it's like, and every day we put the work in, in the gym. Mm -hmm. Like we're in here two times a day, eight o'clock in the morning, putting up shots. So we put the work in. So I knew that, I knew that we had good players. So it's just like, let's go out there and show them that we're good enough, you know? And then, Pacific last season was not as good as this season. You guys are a, a legit playoff contender. And you, if the thing didn't happen last weekend, you might, you, we never know, you might get to the finals or something. What do you think that this team is different from last season? We're just more confident. Like we know that we're good enough for this league. We know that we're good enough to play with anybody around like so every time we step on the court we know like we could win today and it's no team that we were, we were scared of and my guys play like we're not scared of nobody so it's like let's go out there and show that we're good enough to win like you have a big trust with these local players out because you average like what eight assists a game almost eight assists Seven, a game almost eight. almost eight assists a game so why do you trust these local players so much that not a lot of import players like you know play like you like yeah. they, you don't mind kicking out to the three-pointer you know they're gonna hit it like what makes you so confident about the local players because we're in the, we're in here a lot like yeah. we, we come in here we put in work in this in this gym so it's like i know that you can make this shot yeah. shoot it with confidence and i tell them every day shoot the ball with confidence because i know that you can make the shot so i've been here for two years to also my advantage so okay. imports don't, other imports don't know like i could pass to this guy he's gonna make it so I got confidence in my guys because maybe because I've been here longer. Yeah. So Nuka just won the most info player. Yeah. He talked to me. He told me that he got that award. He really improved this season because of you. That's why he told me. So you and Nuka, do you guys have like special relationship or do you have like, do you help him every practice? Not every practice. I told him in the beginning of the year, like, you're good enough to be MVP in the year. Cause I seen I seen everybody, and I told him in the beginning of the season, you're good enough to be MVP. Uh, he said, nah, well, I don't know. Yeah. But I told him, you could be MVP because you're good enough. And he went out there every day, and he showed it. We had some we had some arguments. We'd go at it at it sometimes in practice. He'll be mad at me. I'll be mad at him. <laughs> but that's that's what competitors do, you know. It's like I always wanted to win, and he like him and. Showed in his game this year. How do you like his potential? Though? I think he should be on the national team, honestly, because okay. I think he's good enough to be on that. Not to name some people that shouldn't be on there, but I agree with you. I think at least give him a shot at the national yeah, team. For sure. So last weekend, unfortunately, uh, Pacific game before game two decided not to play against Stopak Jakarta. I just want to know, like, what was your reaction, though, as a player, like your team? Uh, decided not to play against Tapak Jakarta? As a competitor first, mm -hmm. of course I wanted to play, you know? Of course I wanted to go out there and not lose like that, but 
as a as me being part of this family as Pacific Caesar, it's more it's more than a, a basketball team. It's like a family to me, and I and I respect what they what, what we got going on over here. So um, I'd rather stick together with my team and play anyway because it's some things is right, some things is wrong. But as my my boss, he thinks something is the way it should be. I'm gonna stick with him because that's the way it is, you know. So. As a player, of course, you want to go out there and show that, show the fans and show everyone back home that, I could, that we could try to win this, but some things is right, some things is wrong, and I stick with my team, and I'll stick with them to the end. You know? So I hope uh, they're going to find the right solution. So Pacific going to be back in the IBL next season. So if Pacific back to the IBL next season, will we see you back too? I'll be back with Pacific next season <laughs> okay that's you hear it first <laughs> so thank you Dave, for the interview i thank really you. appreciate it thank good you. luck uh, in the future with thank everything you. and don't forget guys to like this video don't forget to comment and then don't forget to subscribe really appreciate it again thank so, you and thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next video peace